Yo, it's Jazz. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, study. what's up, sis? As y'all know, I am not going on my cruise. If you haven't watched that last vlog, you might need to go over there and understand the explanation. I'm in my gown because I am picking up around the house so that I can take a shower and relax. We have a... Um, Christmas ball to go to tonight for Omega Sci-Fi. And I am basically going to be getting myself together for that. I am in desperate need of a petty. And I am, um, okay, I gotta go to the bank. That's why I just look at the clock. And I am, um, I have to go buy some press on. So I just like, gave Alan his steroids and I just gave him his breathing treatment. I am going to leave the house for a quick second. I have an order to get out to my brother for his friend. Um, Alan is staying in his room. He is not coming throughout the house. I have Lysol, Clorox, wipes, um, disinfected everything that I could. He will be using the bathroom on this side of the house. He'll be all over there. And of course, we'll be over here, which is our bathroom, but Addie will be over here with us. She wants him, she wants him to be like isolated for 24 to 48 hours. Um, today at 3.30, today at 4.30 will make 24 hours since he's been diagnosed. So we're looking at about Sunday evening um, for him to be able to come out and mingle and get out of the house because she said that he needed some air. Um, we just want his cough to break. That's basically it. So yeah, y'all, we are going to have a very productive week. I said that I wasn't going to, um, keep vlogging, but my friend Rosa called me. She made me feel so much better. Uh, y'all know I mentioned Miss Carrie, uh, last vlog. She's my mom's friend. She's been knowing her for a long time. Um, and she sent me some encouraging words and it made me feel so good. Those of you that has been in my Instagram inbox, I appreciate you. Those of you that has been in my Instagram inbox with the positivity, y'all the goats. The negative ones, you know what you can guess. Anyway, <laughs> we are about to, um, I'm about to put up the dishes that I just washed. I'm about to go take a shower and try to hurry and get out of here because AJ has a haircut appointment today. And I need to be out of here before he goes to get his haircut. So yeah. Let me do that and I will be back. <sighs> just put some gas in the car and we are about to go to a couple stores i just want to thank y'all for all the kind words that y'all gave me on the last vlog about canceling my trip yeah i want to cancel vlogmas i want to just be like i'm done with it all but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna stay the path and i'm not gonna let the enemy win um i'm just gonna keep all positive vibes and that's gonna be that. Uh, I kept looking at the clock, seeing that um, I did not. My flight was leaving at like 5:44 a.m. Then it was getting to Miami at nine o'clock. I was like, "Oh, I'll be in Miami right now. Oh, I'm leaving for my flight right now." Then I kept getting updates and all that kind of stuff about the cruise and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, "Okay." Kept getting flight updates. Your flight is now boarding and all that kind of stuff. I'm like. So yeah, things happen for a reason. Uh, I'm 
just super sad that I didn't get to go have fun with Savannah, Emily, and Lavona because they are a good time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to make it my business to go to Louisiana at the end of January just for a weekend. It probably ain't gonna be nothing fancy at all, but we're going to, um, and I don't even know if AJ will go. I'm just saying we're. I I need to start making sure that I put my self care time in as well. So yeah, I know for sure that I'm gonna go to Louisiana at the end of January so that I can visit them. Um, so yeah. Anyway, y'all, we are out and about. I am moisturized and my skin is looking super good. I wore the shoes last night to the Omega Ball, um, and we had such a great time at the Omega Ball. Um, so, yeah, we ended up uh, coming on back home a little early. My mother-in-law was here with the kids, and we didn't want her to have to go through anything or do anything, you know, when it came to the kids. We had fed them, gave them medicine, made sure Alan had Gatorade and water beside his bed. Um, all that good stuff. Addie laid in our bed the whole night. So, yeah. The shoes that I wore last night, they are platform shoes. And they're called the Bianca Heels. Now, one thing about Target, I love their shoes. But they're just so uncomfortable. This shoe right here, y'all is the most uncomfortable thing I've worn in a long time. And it's this far right. I'm going down a back road too, y'all. Like, nobody's on this road. Like, nobody's on this road. That's why I'm doing it. But this here, terrible. It literally cut the top of my left foot. The skin on my left foot is one of those heels. And no, they're not too little. I wear a size 10. I got them a size 10. Um... I know one time I tried a 10 and a half on in the store and it was too big. So I am a solid size 10. And in Converse, no, I can I can I can dab down in Converse because those platform Converse that I bought recently, they are women's size 10, and I wish I would have bought them in women's size nine or nine and a half. Oh shaking. Or nine and a half because they are extremely, I'm not gonna say extremely, but like, I feel the gap in, in the shoe. Like, the shoe does this a little bit. Um, but I got them now, so I just wear thicker socks when I wear my platform covers. Um, so, yeah, I am about to return those at Target. And I am um, going to give me a little Starbucks and a little breakfast sandwich from Starbucks. Just something for me to make me feel good. I told AJ, I was like, pretend I'm not here. <laughs> Do your thing. Do your thing. But of course, in, in Jastiny fashion, I am going to cook dinner. Um, I know if they would have been here, they were going to have to thug it out. Because AJ doesn't cook dinner. So nine times out of ten, my mother-in-law was going to probably cook the extra dinner for them. Or, uh, I don't have a seatbelt on, y'all. I'm sorry. I just got on the main road. Um, they don't have uh, he don't know how to cook so I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law was going to probably cook extra for him for them and or they were going to eat pizza every night or a hot pocket I just know it but I'm here so I'm going to get some ground beef patties and um, asparagus I think we got cornbread already at home and mashed potatoes. So we're gonna have homemade Salisbury steak and garlic mashed potatoes, cornbread, and a side of. Well, do I wanna do cornbread? We just had cornbread. Do I wanna do cornbread? I might not wanna do cornbread today, y'all. I might wanna do some kind of roll or some Hawaiian roll. I'm tired of. Uh uh. Yeah. I don't think I'm eating cornbread. Anyway, um. So yeah, that's that. We are, uh, that's what we're gonna have for dinner. And um, Parmesan crusted out uh, asparagus. So that's that. 
so yeah, I'm just out ooh, Jesus, for a little me time. And I have not been in TJ Maxx in months, in months, okay? And I keep seeing Valentine's Day stuff surface. And I just want to go and gander. <laughs> Take a gander, okay? Um, Natasha has been showing a lot of Ray Dunn stuff. And it's like the new Ray Dunn stuff. Y'all know I used to collect Ray Dunn for a few years. And it got a bit obsessive. Like, it was to the point where I knew that I had to let it go. Because I was in the stores. Baby, I was in them stores. Do you hear me? Like, I would go into looking for Ray Dunn religiously every morning from Home Goods to Marshalls. No, Home Goods to TJ Maxx, down back down to Marshalls. Sometimes run back down to Home Goods to see if they put new stuff in. It got a bit um, obsessive. So I let it go. And. I know that I'm not ever going to get back into like collecting, collecting. Um, but I have been thinking about turning my kitchen table. You know, it's like it's like this, and we put the chairs in. Like our back backs are turned to the TV. Well, I'm talking about the formal dining area, by the way. And our backs are turned to the um, to the TV or whatnot. So I was like, what if I actually turned it? I always get horizontal and vertical mixed up, so I'm sorry. I was like, well, what if I turn it like the other way and whatnot, and if we sit the chairs, then we're able to all look like if we did have company and had dinner or whatever. So I'm thinking about turning it that way and putting like a little, like a slim bookshelf situation in there. Um, that's just a thought. Like. I just thought it would be something cute to put in there in that corner and that's when the the Ray Dunn stuff comes back in my head. I'm like, what if I got like a little canister here and there? Not going crazy again, not doing that because when I collected Dunn, what really pissed me off when I was collecting Dunn is the cattiness of the Dunn collecting. And it was starting to piss me off like I just was not for it. Um, I found out I was being used at one point, and I just let it go. Like, mean girls in the Dunn community, if you collect Ray Dunn, you know. And I'm like, I just don't want to get back into that again. So, I'm on the, oh, if I find it, I find it. I'm not going to follow the Ray Dunn sites. I'm not going to get back into liking everything like that. Like, I don't follow everything. I got out of the local group here for Ray Dunn collecting and all. <clears throat> so I'm not getting back in that. <clears throat> it's just if if I go in the store and see it, I'm gonna get it. If I like it, I'll get it. Um, it's not going to be waking up early on a Saturday morning, working, waking up early on a Sunday morning, running to the store, waiting till they open, and running in and finding this stuff. Mm -mm. We ain't doing that. We're not getting back into that mess. We are not getting back into that mess. So yeah. <clears throat> Um, I just saw a few knickknacks, not all Ray Dunn, but a few knickknacks would be super cute to put on like a little bookshelf in the formal dining area because since I moved that plant to the other side, it looks naked over there. So that's where my head is. Um, but we are pulling into the Target parking lot. Is that a park over there? That is a park over there between Target and CJ Maxx. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Oh, yeah, I put my press on. I just thought about that. Kiss press on. Super cute. Kiss, holla at your girl. Holla at your girl. Nail shop safe for me, but y'all are for me. Kiss, okay? New York, if y'all hear me, somebody, somebody sitting in my way, okay? Y'all, somebody just got the park I was just about to get. I just seen her pull in. Miss Ma'am. Now, why would you do that? No, I, okay, it's another part. Thank you, Lord. Okay, let's get into Target and then we'll go into J Max 100. I 
AJ birthday is Wednesday, and I think this would be a cute gag gift. He loves these from Starbucks, so I'm probably gonna put him like two of them in his little gift bag that I got him. So we have strawberries at home, but I know for sure that we need some kind of fruit. So I'm gonna get that. Um, the kids usually like blueberries, so let's do some blueberries. Trying to see if they have asparagus. Target may not have asparagus. Okay. Okay. May not have it. That's fine. Let's figure it out. They also have $10 off when you spend $50 or more. So I'm going to get a couple packs of these for sure. We are going to need potatoes for sure. I wonder what one bag do for us. I don't want to go back to the store. I'm going to do two just in case. I can always use potatoes for something this week. What made me get my food and my drink now? I should have waited until I got ready to leave. Oh, anyway, let's get some orange juice. I'm going to get the Good and Gather brand. Because it's actually good. So I want to do these brownies I've been seeing. I've seen them do... Um, cookies at the bottom, then Oreos, then put the brownie mix over it. So I definitely want to try that. What is this blasphemy? Y'all, I bet this is so good. I bet this is super good. Look at the tree. <laughs> this is cute. Oops, it's not gonna focus. Focus, y'all. Focus. Oh my gosh, let me sit it down. I just want y'all to see how cute it is. I wonder how much is it? This is just too cute. $20, I doubt it. Let's find a, a price checker. I told y'all it wasn't gonna be no $20. So I don't want y'all to focus. It was not 20, it's only 12. I'm thinking about hiding this. And if I hide it and I come back and it's here, I'll get it. Deal? Okay, deal. So I'm about to go hide it where I don't think they'll look. And I'll come back and see if it's here on... I'll come back on Wednesday to see if it's here. So we already have these, but it is tons of waffle makers in Target and they're only $9.99. And I love this one. It actually has the the design on top of it but yeah we already have the gingerbread if i'm not mistaken i could be lying but i know for sure we got that one and i think we got that one but without the design but without the i design. forget how packed these stores are during the holidays why the freak they got stuff all down the house i'm so childish but this is cute <laughs> But you know something, I don't, I'm not the girl to do, to like wash the makeup off my face while, um, before I get in the tub. I get in the tub first and wash my face though. So these are mainly for people that wash their face before the shower, which I don't understand. Because if I'm taking my makeup off, I'm actually about to take my clothes off and get in the bathtub. I don't even know. Oh, I bet that's Harry Potter. These are cute. What are these? Frosted lips. This is cute too, but it's hella broken. Y'all, do you remember the pillow at Home Goods? There's a blanket. The blanket matches it. That's cute. What the color? Mm. That one is cute though. This is fun to just throw on the couch. But those are cute. Just throw on the couch. That one is super cute. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this hair pillow. Yeah, the music loud. Let me go ahead and just put some music over this. Oh my gosh, stop it. And it, oh my lord, I need this for the $30. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. Now green is our thing. Look at these candlestick holders. Gorgeous. I remember when I was collecting, people used to always be crazy over like the the little things like that. And that never bothered me at all. Never did. Y'all, let me get the freak out of here. What? Baby. And then it's gold and green. Yeah, let me go. So I think I'm going to wait on these. If they were all gold, I would love them better. But being iridescent, I don't think that's going to work. So y'all know the other day I was telling y'all how home goods clutter was make, making me claustrophobic. Let's pray we don't go through that today again. Because I really want to look through their glassware. TJ Maxx glassware is top tier. That's when, you know... You host a lot, a lot. I used to host a lot, but I don't know. I just don't do it like I used to. Um, and AJ is an introvert. He doesn't really, it's a select few people that he can really just be himself around. Like he, he's himself around his family, but he's still an introvert. So I wanted to have a um, New Year's Eve party. He's like, ah. Oh, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, AJ, it's with our family. We're not inviting the whole city. You don't want to do it. Because he was like, damn, a lot of people. And you got to clean up. Clean up before, clean up after. And I'm like, boy, whatever. So we're going to go in here and see what we can find. Glassware. I walked in and look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And these are shorter. Those are cute too. Now these, these are a vibe for ten dollars. Yeah, those are a vibe. I like those. This is the bougiest carats I've seen. Super bougie. What are these? Sharp glasses. I hate the oval. How they're shaped. If they were just straight and round, those would be cute. What are these? A set of four glasses. Not a purple girl. Mm, but look. Oh God. Look, this is a nice one. I love how everything is color coordinated here. They have their clear, their pink, their blue, well, more pink, <laughs> their green, black. Ooh. Okay. And then they have just their all clear. This is more iridescent. This is giving me mushroom shape. It doesn't look like they have any Valentine's Day glasses out, though. This is cute. I think I have some of these at home already, honestly. I'm going to make a uh, Christmas cocktail. Not sure if I'm gonna do that with y'all today or not, but I am going to be making a Christmas cocktail. They may not have any of the Valentine's Day glasses here. They probably haven't dropped yet in home goods. Yeah, because I don't. Let's go to the outer aisle and see. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Just vases. Do y'all say vase or do y'all say vase? Some people say vase. And I think that's just putting too much into it. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, 
Okay, y'all. I don't think we have anything. I don't think that we are going to find any cute glassware. I just wanted to buy Happy. It's not a necessity. But these are cute. They're oval. Mm -mm. Are these plastic and this plastic? This is pretty. This is real cute. And it does a little swivel. So before I say this, I don't knock no one's hustle, okay? But they play this violin every week, right here, okay? In DeSoto County, if you know who it is, you know who it is. They lie and say that they're homeless. I have two kids, please give us tips. They say that they're homeless. These people got in a brand new, one of those SRT vans one day. How y'all lying like that? Being an entrepreneur, I don't like no one's hustle, but when you sitting there lying and you involving kids on a little money scheme, that's crazy. And I guess people just started catching on because I don't ever see anybody walking up giving them money anymore. And I want to know how is that legal for them to actually do? That's my question because uh -huh, I need to start selling cheesecakes then. I need to start selling cheesecakes on the corner and make me a sob store so I can make some money and give me a brand new SRT van if that's the case. Anyway, we headed home. I enjoyed my little outing. Um, I'm about to go home and take Alan and Adeline's temperature to make sure that they don't have any temperatures. It's a little spicy out here too. It says 44 degrees, but I had that full that faux leather jacket on and I am I am sweating. Okay, really bad. But yeah. And also we got this um I think it's called an oximeter. I think this is what this is, where you put it on your finger and you know like your oxygen level and stuff. So I just got this and I have to put batteries in it because we're gonna check Alan's oxygen. Last night, he kept telling me that he can't breathe. And uh, like I heard him around over the house. Like I've been getting up every three to four hours checking on him. Um, and AJ went to bed late last night. So AJ ended up uh, checking on him before he went to sleep. And he was like, Alan is in there sweating his whole bed out. And I'm like, okay. So, I have to figure out something to do for that. Um, I am going to wash the sheets and put fresh sheets on the bed just to make sure that we not keep transfer transferring germs around, you know? So, um, I am going, I'm going to tell AJ to actually take the sheets off. Pretend I ain't here. Take the sheets off the bed, put new sheets on the bed. And then, that's my thing. Like, I'm not gonna say all, I'm gonna say some. Some men don't think that way. Like, when he said Alan was sweating real bad last night, um, he was like, uh, just pour, just spray some Lysol on it. I was like, nah, those sheets gonna have to come off and be washed. Alan has had those sheets on his bed for about a week now. And usually I'm like, a, I'm a week or a week and a half sheet girl. Now for us being adults, like, you know, grown people, we wash our sheets weekly, every Sunday. We take our sheets off the bed, we wash them. But the kids, yeah, I do like every week or week and a half. So, yeah, when I told him to take the sheets off, he was like, just spray them with Lysol. They'll be fine. I was like, no, nah, we need to take them off, put on laundry sanitizer on the sheets, and put them back on the bed. But Alan has like three sheets, three three chains of sheets in the closet. So, it's, we're not in a rush to uh, wash those, but they need to be washed so we won't transfer nothing else to nobody. I rebuke being sick in the name of Jesus. Addie is still complaining about her legs hurting. Like she's like bent over walking saying my legs hurt. So yeah, uh, we are going to go and make sure that ew, we can get all of that done and I'm going to cook dinner 
and I'm thinking that this is going to be it after I cook dinner and I'm gonna close the vlog out. I put up a little vlog and I do mean a little vlog um, because it was just me explaining, you know, Alan being sick and me not going anywhere else. So yeah, I might turn around and do a double vlog today um, because I just don't feel like the vlog I put up was enough um depending on how much footage i got while i was out um we're gonna say i'm just gonna call this a self-care day really wasn't but um maybe you know an outing or something like that i am going to take myself out this week since i'm not you know actually um out of town I'm going to uh, I seen somebody come in and say try something new and buy yourself something so I didn't buy myself anything today um, so I am one day this week I am going to try Chipotle I have been wanting to try Chipotle and I never have so I'm going to take myself to lunch one day um, and I'm going to buy myself one day buy myself something one day um, not sure what I've been eyeing some coach purses so I'm not sure maybe I buy me a coach bag because a coach bag is gonna be timeless that's that that's something that you would never just say oh this is out of style coach is the goat okay coach is a gorgeous gorgeous bag some people feel like that about Dooney and Burke, but I'm not a Dooney and Burke girl. I don't know. It's something about Dooney that I don't like. But Coach, Coach is a classic. You can't ever mess up with Coach. Like, mm -mm. y'all know I'm a Brahmin girl, and I always hear people say that Brahmin are old women bag, old women bags, and all that kind of stuff. But I don't know. It's something about Brahmin that I just absolutely love. Somebody's coming on my video. Um, it's something about Brahmin that I absolutely love. So. If you are a, okay, for my purse girlies, right now, y'all tell me if you are a Brumman, Dooney and Burke, or Coach, or if you're all three, if you like two, if you like just one, what kind of girl are you? Or if you don't like those brands, what other brands do you like? I don't like Michael Kors. It's something about Michael Kors and Dooney and Burke. I don't like them. I don't know. It's it's not it's not giving the the looks that I like. And y'all know I'm a simple girl, very very simple girl. I'm not the girl to spend thousands of dollars on different stuff. I am a simple girl. So I don't know. It's just my cores and Dooney just don't do justice for me. Uh, so yeah, what type of purses do y'all like? Y'all let me know. So yeah, taking myself to get some lunch. So I try Chipotle, and yeah, we're going to. Buy me something. More than likely, like I said, a bag. It'll be a Christmas gift to myself. Merry Christmas. I also want a pair of Birkenstocks. So, that's something that I'm thinking about getting to. So, maybe a purse, maybe a pair of Birkenstocks. Um, the clogs, by the way. Um, and I also thought about going to see Beyonce, the Renaissance movie. So, that'll be probably some chill that I do, like, for myself. Um, but that's probably it. I'm probably not going to go crazy this week. Don't go crazy. I just thought that would be something fun for me to do for myself since, you know, uh, um, I'm not enjoying the warm weather. The warm weather. Warm. Like my grandma said, warm weather. I'm not enjoying the warm weather. I'm here. So we're going to make the best of it. That's what we're going to do. Because the, the lesson that I was taught is... You can't plan things if it's not in God's plans. And I accept that wholeheartedly. Even though I spent so much money going into this cruise. Now, I am going to return them outfits back to Shein. Like them bathing suits and stuff like that. Why well, I need the bathing suits? Girl, I can return it and get a little gift card on Shein and order me some stuff. Clothes, regular clothes. Um, Because, yeah, like I said, it's... It's winter time. And this body, I don't plan on taking this body with me <laughs> when the summertime hits. Your girl got some weight to lose. That is, I know people always say, um, 
a new year's resolution so i'm not making a new year's resolution i'm just promising myself to do better health wise okay health wise finances you know all that good stuff but i am going to start taking care of my health because i need to one thing that i i thank god for i'm a bigger girl but no diabetes no high cholesterol no hypertension no none of that and i'm so 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 thankful for this so i just need to make better choices i need to take time out and work on Jastiny. i need i need to focus on getting Jastiny back together because that's the problem i put everyone above myself and now one thing in the new year i promised myself is to focus on getting me back you know what i'm saying um the before i say this no lashes and makeup and nails and all that kind of stuff is not it you don't have to have that to make yourself feel beautiful but I promise to start having more self-care. Even though I absolutely hate going to nail shops to get my nails done, one thing about it, at one point, baby, my nails stay done. If I broke one, I'm going to the nail shop that day and get it fixed, okay? Pedicure, I used to get a pedicure every two weeks because I have big callus. Blame my papa, my daddy did that to me. I tell him that all the time. You did this, <laughs> you made my feet rough. Thank you, but no thank you. Um, but, um, yeah i'm getting me back and that's a promise to myself within i'm going to find me again i'm going to start taking time out the first thing that i'm going to start with doing is getting my body together okay getting my body together i'm so tired from work i'm tired from the kids I'm tired from my business and i just want to go lay down and once i eat i be done no ma'am pam mm -mm, we gonna make better choices bad thing about working at this school you want to eat all day want to snack all day oh we got cupcakes in the office oh this kid brought down us for the teachers hey y'all want starbucks hey we're going to eat every friday like i have to my i have to have a stronger mind frame to say no thank you when i get sleepy and you know get want a little snacky snack at the school i gotta find some better i gotta just start eating fruit that's my problem. I can't tell y'all the last time I ate fruit. And that's sad. That's so sad to say. But I can't tell y'all the last time I ate fruit. So, in order for me to do better, if I feel like if I start doing better, that's showing my kids that we can do better. And yeah, I have to. It's imperative that I put the good stuff in my body because I don't want to be sick and sad at an early age. I am 31 years old, 31, 31 years old. I got a lot of life, I got a lot of life left, a lot of life left, and I'm living it. So I gotta get myself together, and I know that for sure. So anyway, I'm gonna get onto the house and get AJ to unload these grocery, and I'll be back on when I start cooking. Okay, y'all, we are home, and we are about to start cooking dinner. I'm trying to turn the light on, it didn't really matter. About to start cooking dinner. I already started browning the ground beef and we are going to chop some onions. Somebody is messaging me. And we're going to chop some onions. And uh, I think I'm going to make chai and make homemade gravy today. And I don't want to mess nothing up. We do have one pack of gravy in here. And I vouch for this gravy. Actually, we have two packs of gravy. We might just use the pack gravy so I won't mess anything up. I really don't want to do that today. <laughs> we really don't want to mess nothing up. And also, we're going to go ahead and try. Um, and we're also going to go ahead and try some uh, the cocktail, too. I told you I was just going to cook and end it. But we're going to try the cocktail. Because I'm in desperate need. Or... Yeah, we're going to try the cocktail, but my champagne isn't cold. Hmm. We may have to show that tomorrow so I can actually have the white cranberry juice and the champagne cold. What's wrong, baby? You need tissue? What's wrong? No fevers, by the way. Kids have no fevers. We just checked. 
So that officially makes Alan not contagious anymore. He said he's very weak and AJ went to get some I egg want, drop soup. I want you want to what, baby? Decorate what now? Decorate the... Yeah. Uh, she said she wants to decorate this. That'll be in another vlog, though. We can do it, but we can record it later, okay? okay let Mommy cook first, and then we can do it later. Why are you crying? I said we can do it later. But I have to cook dinner first. Okay? And we can put our pajamas on. Okay? Stop clowning. Yes, if you if you're not gonna cry, we can. If you're gonna be a crybaby, we can't. Ow, my hair's stuck. Anyway, um, yeah, let's cook dinner. We'll do the cocktail. Oh my gosh, we'll do the cocktail tomorrow because, y'all, my hair is, my hair is. Oh, see, this is why. Ow, this is why I don't wear shades with locks, and I'm gonna have to pull it unfortunately or i'm gonna have to wait till aj get back but he went to the chinese restaurant to get egg drop soup yep now i gotta wait for him to get back to untangle my hair baby you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place because the love you give you can't be replaced so and just like that dinner is served homemade sausage steak patties and asparagus when i tell y'all that dinner was chef's kiss so simple so quick to make i'm about to close this vlog out i'm about to relax we are going to build gingerbread houses later so of course that'll be a separate vlog and Addie and i are going to bake she is y'all see him in the background <laughs> She is wanting to make these brownie cookie something. I'm gonna, y'all will see. But anyway, guys, if you made it to the end of the vlog, make sure you leave me a red heart in the comments. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you a part of my family. Peace.